Swamiji, uh, my name is Ram. I actually live right next to Prasanna Ashram. Oh, really? Ah, oh, great. So, I'm going to be there. So, uh, you, you can be there only and ask the question. Yeah. So, my session is starting right now? Yeah. Starting right? Okay. Okay, okay I'll start. Please sit down. So, if you can comfortable, sit down and ask the question. Oh, yeah. No problem. So, um, very quickly, and I, I look forward to your discourse, your workshop tomorrow, but you, throughout your uh, discourse, you refer to your mind and you also refer to you. There is a distinction between these two. My question is, of course, the you is the Atma. Right? My question, and this is what I'm struggling with as I read spiritual texts, is it the you that controls the mind or is it the mind that controls the you? How does that, how is that interplay? Can you throw some light on that? Okay, please sir, please sir. Give a big hand for asking. Uh, two things are there, now please understand. Now, if I get into that perspective, it will take a long time for me. Let's get in this. The Katopanisha says, Vak Manasi Yachche. Put your words in your mind, he says. Vak Manasi Yachche. So that means, let us stop here. The words are there. Manasi Yachche put in your mind. Mind means become aware. Mind, put it in your buddhi, it says. Mind is nothing but thoughts. Right? Thoughts are there. Go to a higher level. Put it in your buddhi. Buddhi means your understanding, not your judgment. Then your understanding, place it in Atma, which is the self. Right? And what is the self? More I'll talk to you. It is the macro. It comes to us. Now, for the time being, right now, when I say clean the mind, mind is nothing but thoughts. Unless you clean those thoughts properly, you will never get into understanding domain. Once clean the mind clearly, which is thoughts, etc., then I'm in the workshop or even here, I worked on you on understanding, understanding. That understanding center increases. Then you will understand that your understanding is like looking at the sky through the window. When you look at the sky to the window, the sky gets limited by the window. So there is an understanding beyond the intellect. And that transcendental state is called self-realization. You cannot get into self-realization unless first you have cleansed your body, cleansed your mind, cleansed your words called vichara shuddhi, vak shuddhi, sharira shuddhi, bhava shuddhi. You are feeling Vedanta called Pancha Shuddhi is called. You have to clean this body because body influences your mind. If you drink alcohol, right, you are drinking to the body but the mind gets dizzy. So body impacts the mind. When you get worried, right, it is mind, mind impacts the body. So it is connection. So cleanse the body, it is called Sharira Shuddhi. Vak Shuddhi, you have to cleanse your words. Words are very, very important. Jihwame Madhumattama. It's a tapas. Jihwame madhumattama. Let honey flow through your words, he says. You have to cleanse this because words have a linguistic connection to the brain. Right? Vak shuddhi. Then vichara shuddhi. You have to cleanse your thinking. Bhava shuddhi. You have to cleanse your feeling. Only then you can get to the state of Atma. Or else it will be just theory, theory, theory. For example, Hinduism has always said, Isha vasya midagum sarvam yadkinshin jagat yam jagat. You have heard? God is everywhere. Having said God is everywhere, then I say I am a Brahmana, you are a Shudra. You don't get to the temple. What type of logic is that? I am a Brahmana, you are a Shudra. You say God is everywhere. Brahmana, Kshatriya, Vaishya, Shudra was a division of labor, not a division of the soul. In Adi Shankara Chai, right? right? Uh, 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 there is a thing that I mean, God will not get into all those things. So therefore, you may have the greatest of philosophy and they say I am purer than you. In body-wise, work-wise, there can be division, not in the soul-wise. So unless this body is cleansed, words are cleansed, mind is cleansed, feeling is cleansed, you will never, never understand that God is your Atma, I am Atma Brahma. Atma is Brahma, you will never understand that. So when I say I, I am referring to all dimensions. Because I tell you, all of you, don't you feel I am in the body? Shariram Annam Brahmet Yabhijanat Annamaya is God, he says. Then Pranam Brahmet Yabhijanat Prana is God, he says. 
then mano brahmeti vijanat mind is got vijnanam brahmeti vijanat intellect is got then anandam brahmeti vijanat ananda eva kalvimani bhutani chayam that is ultimate so the i is very volatile in us when you do your makeup you are the body but deep understand is not the body i am also mind then you are not the mind you are also the understanding you are not the understanding there is something beyond the understanding which makes the understanding possible so in in a stock like this i will use i in all levels and that's what the upanishad also has done it the ultimate i is done from um, different from empirical i right you get that clap clap for us yeah yeah next question only two three questions have got hmm. yeah because tomorrow's workshop will be easier now it's your madhya pradesh time i know that we <laughs> 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 will not go <laughs> so vishwanath i i request you two people i can suggest to you one of the person who released my book was sudha murthy was infosys narayan murthy's wife she came after that i have never asked me for my organization personally neither it is personal what you are asking so you make a connect there for millions of dollars they give donations all right for education purpose this up to you next one is one person who comes to our ashram regularly is nandan nilkani's wife rahul nilkani right uh, 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 right which they have also recently given millions of dollars thing there but i have not asked personally they they come for yoga and go there so there's a cost you have to custom book of education institution you do that this too if it clicks i can just one or two big donors can get my blessing is there and my connection but personally i have not asked because i have never asked for my own organization even though they come and go i have never asked so this will be very good in that way wherever i remember i can all this yeah very good sir Thank you for coming. My name is Ramesh. Thanks for your uh, engaging and energetic talk. Yeah. You briefly mentioned about values. Mm. And talking about the values, if you look at Bhagavad Gita, for example, in the twelfth chapter, it talks about the Vedas or the Bhutana. Maitrak kano elancha. Then the thirteenth chapter talks about Amani to Madam Vishnu and all that. Then again, in seventh chapter, they talk about values. So, are these sets of values are they contextual or is it something else okay please not. very good sir okay now please understand now dharma you are talking of dharma there are two types of dharma in hinduism there is a samanya dharma there is a vishesha dharma see hinduism is very complex is very very complex because very profound all right you have to understand it very properly and i feel very very few people have understood in the context there is a see there is a body of religion there is a mind of religion there is a soul of religion the body of religion is i break a coconut in a temple is a body of a ritual the meaning the mind of breaking of a coconut mind of religion break no coconut means your ego has to be broken that's the meaning and the soul of religion is when you take the sweet water in right your your is sweet in your life so like this there's a body mind and soul so dharma also two manudasha sasasthas there's two samanya dharma and vishesh dharma samanya dharma is what you are talking of the rules there is what is called vishesh dharma intelligence will tell what is right it is volatile when rama hits wali behind it is against all rules right rama hit wali behind it is against all rule that is a sign of vishesh dharma why did he hit behind the thing because wali had a siddhi power that whoever is in front of him 50% of his power he will drop so nobody can defeat and they will have individual power no and he has done something wrong so he has a siddhi and you have to understand everybody has some siddhis tomorrow's workshop i'll show you videos of my i'm a student of martial art i'm a student of martial art i'll show you videos of martial art where a person without hitting you can put you down when the chain energy you pull come to hit him he'll just move his body the person will collapse which is there when a chi energy is activated you can do that therefore mysterious are there many energies lot of people will have you get this concept very energies have wali had an energy that his strength he could take 50% of his strength when you have so there was some mutation like mutants i was where this place yellow yellow stone right this is geyser geyser is it all is is all boiling what a beautiful place geyser is all boiling 
and next to his Christmas tree is growing. And there there is a board written by saying when water are boiling, the biggest, largest marconic center in the world, they say, what what is boiling there? There are some micro this one which are living on the boiling water. What do you call the micro? Micro organism who are living on the boiling water. So they are saying therefore life in mass is possible. You can live in the bottom. Therefore means those microorganisms have gone through a mutation and the very mutation you can live there and next to it is Christmas tree product going. I am trying to say this. Our life is too mysterious for our intellect to understand. That's why a mohamma hai samajne ka samjane ka is a big mystery to understand to make others understand. So Wali had that siddhi that you could take somebody's thing there. Now how Rama could defeat it? That is called Vishesha Dharma. In a unique syndication, your intention being very good, in the macro picture of life, there is a micro pliability. In a macro picture of life, there is a macro, micro pliability based on a certain agility and acumen of the micro. Macro. So that is called Vishesha Dharma. Enough you find Mahabharata and Ramayana. No, you see this and a loose person can take that, you know why I did it told lies? Because Krishna said this. Why I did this? Because I did this. Now that's a problem where you can mess it up. So therefore, summarizing there is a Samanya Dharma, what you are saying, Ahimsa, all this, Advesta Sarva Bhutana, Maitra Karuna Shasaricha, all this Samanya, there is a Vishesha Dharma. And Vishesha Dharma can never operate when you function from ego. It operates when you function from purity, which is cosmic intelligence. That's a dimension which you have to be sensitive to. That's all. But until that dimension happens, you have to follow Samani Dharma itself. I can this, for example, Ahimsa you say. Now, why in Hinduism is the only religion where Brahmins are supposed to be vegetarian? Kshatriyas is supposed that's why people tell me, Samaj, why are you not encouraging non vegetarian? I said, no. I said, I am a vegetarian, but I don't encourage vegetarianism to everywhere. Alright? If you are a if you are a Brahmana doing meditation, spiritual life, you have to be a vegetarian. If you are Kshatriya eating Pani Puri and Idli Sambar and Puliyodara Pussy will go. In WWF person you can't fight. So non-vegetarian is allowed in uh, for a Kshatriya. Not like meaninglessly killing like the buffaloes just done there. Is there? For a Vaishya doing business, you don't need non vegetarian. Yeah, it's an occupation. So, therefore, you see, even in Hindu thought, one is a vegetarian not by birth, by occupation. Arrived right, just there, you have to take this one. So, Samana Dharma, it's a very kind of very clear uh, picture of it. But you can manipulate it if you're not pure. That's why we said Panchashati is important. Yes, sir. Last, last question. Last question. Any question? Oh, all ready for lunch. Right. right? Uh, okay, now finally, let us, let us come from there. Right? One of the things which is lack, see, I really appreciate when you are saying Ashirwada thing, you are taking Hinduism or Indian culture in the education system, which is never there. It's always been in a uh, guru system. It's a very good step, which is there. You can. Please support that there. Secondly, one more thing is lacking in Hinduism is the passion to enroll somebody else. See, please understand, we have to change right now. The, whether Christians and Muslims, they go and passionately convert people. We are not interested in converting. We are interested in transforming. So therefore, I want you to passionately go and enroll people for a good cause. A maximum, they'll say no. That's all. For you to understand the sense of it, you have to do workshops. Alright, understand. See, unfortunately in the temples, etc., more rituals are done, less of spiritual classes. Spiritual classes is namesake is done. So therefore, this is, take it like a spiritual class what you are doing here, but I will be using a lot of corporate because you have to bring spirituality to the corporate world also. So tell your friends, share to your friends, any good work you do because ultimately when you die, you can't even take your moustache and go. Any doubt you have got? <coughs> yes or no? So, Elatya moustache also. Therefore, do good work. Only a punya and papa you can take on. So, do work. So, come tomorrow. Invest four hours. For whatever. Tell your friends also. For whatever time you are not. Right? Get, read my book. Read there. 
support good causes like this, and you'll have your lunch. Thank you very much for your loving presence. Thank you. Please, you follow me. Follow me in Twitter. Follow me in Facebook as I'm born. Wherever it is, little little Facebook and Twitter also try to follow me because little little message I can give you. Okay, thank you. I request all of you to please stay back. We would like to honor Swamiji, so as a respect, I request you to request you to stay back. Thank you so much once again. Uh, thank you for being here. And uh, tomorrow, you please uh, attend the workshop. Spend some uh, time on yourself. It's at uh, Pinnacle Montessori. Uh, most of you may already be having the flyers. Otherwise, uh, we have some information there. When you register, you know. Couple of other things very quickly. Uh, the annual Diwali Mela is uh, happening on the 4th of November in Cotton Ball Stadium. Please attend that. And also the Global Hindu Heritage Foundation has invited Swami Paripurnanda Ji. He'll be here next week, next week and August 19th at uh, Celebration Event Center in Plano at 5.30 p.m. And once again, uh, kindly register for the workshop and also uh, do your best for the Ashirvada concert that's coming up soon. Tickets are available and as I said, uh, the $50 tickets are available at uh, $25 until uh, 15th of August. So please not only buy for yourself but also buy for your uh, family. And yes, we have uh, dinner available, lunch available. So please have lunch with us. Thank you.